Welcome to the Burnt Brass Homestead channel. Previously, I made Farmer's cheese using raw milk and vinegar. Farmer's cheese can be made using raw milk or store-bought milk. That includes whole, half, or skim milk. This is raw milk that I am freeze drying to store in the pantry. As most of you know, milk has about a two week shelf life in the refrigerator. By freeze drying milk, we can store enough to satisfy our family and have it to last for years. When stored properly in oxygen free airtight containers, it can last about 20 to 25 years. I plan to keep freeze dried milk in my pantry so that we don't have to make frequent trips to the store or in the event we are snowed in for a couple days to a blizzard or any other dangerous weather conditions. And with food costs increasing so rapidly, we can buy what is on sale now and freeze dry for consumption later. To freeze dry raw milk, I use a Harvest Right freeze dryer, but you can dehydrate milk as well. I prefer the freeze dryer because I use raw milk and do not want it exposed to so much heat for a long duration of time. Afterwards, I pack the freeze dried milk into a half gallon sized mason jar and remove the oxygen. This is a half gallon mason jar of freeze dried milk. For the purpose of this video, I am only going to use two to three cups of milk to make the cheese. The ratio will be one to one powder milk to water. After adding the freeze dried milk and water to the pot, I bring the temperature up, but not quite to a boil. You can tell it's hot enough when you see fine bubbles appear around the edge of the pot as it heats up. Unlike using cold milk from the refrigerator, the freeze dried milk heats up much faster so I stir frequently as not to burn the milk or cause it to stick to the bottom of the pot. At this point the heat is turned off and the milk can be removed from it. One to one and a half tablespoons of vinegar is added to the milk at which point you can see the whey separating from the cheese. The whey can be used for protein drinks, as a water substitute for rice or other food item, as a hair rinse, to water plants, and more. This is the time you add salt or other seasoning to spice up the cheese before wrapping it and allowing it to drain a few hours. And there you have it, homemade cheese using powdered milk. Simple, yet very useful. I hope that you have enjoyed this video and have found it to be useful. If so, give it a thumbs up so that it might be a suggested video for others.